What's up everybody? Welcome to G from VC. Gary here today with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm joined with my friends Will from Venture to Rome, Matt from Simply Must Go, Fletch from All Things Overland, and Braxton from Welcome to the Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about sleeping arrangements, either rooftop tent, ground tent, or like myself, where I sleep inside my Jeep. In saying that, my sleeping arrangement is I sleep in my Jeep. I fold down the two-thirds portion of the back seat, and then I put a foldable uh, cushion right over it and depending on the time of the year I put just the sleeping bag on top of it or a woolen blanket to keep myself warm during the winter the reason why I went with this type of sleeping arrangement is the fact that uh, it's better security and sleeping inside your vehicle uh, it's a little bit warmer than sleeping in a tent to be honest one drawback about it is the fact that I have to take out a few things to make space for myself in that two-thirds side of the back seat but all in all i'm pretty happy with it my final thoughts is honestly for me i drive by myself most of my trips so sleeping inside my jeep is um, a lot more uh, suitable for myself but i would consider getting a rooftop tent if it was the safari xl uh, which is connected to the actual jeep itself i would consider that i'm not partial about getting a ground tent maybe a swag or a pop-up ones just like the uh, s pods or the uh, gazelles I, I would consider those those ones as well but all in all i'm very happy with just sleeping inside my vehicle and i sleep pretty comfortably anyways that will do it for my time here guys will you're up next buddy hi i'm will from venture to rome on venture to rome we go on epic adventures do gear installs modifications and do some creative stuff when it comes to celebrating the overlanding lifestyle so i hope you come check out our channel what i'm going to talk to you today about is our rooftop tent so this is a new tent to us but it's really exciting it's the desert armor tank xl four person hard shell rooftop tent well it's a lot to say what i like about it is that it's got an aluminum shell the setup teardown time is super fast um it's lightweight it only weighs 156 pounds for an aluminum hard shell which is only 10 pounds heavier than my smitty built uh soft shell so that is massive and the last thing that i like about this is that it just looks rad i mean it looks like it kind of looks like a stealth bomber landed on top of my Jeep, which is really, really cool. So aesthetically, it's a home run. What I don't like about this tent is that it's not as big as I'd like. It's only 70 inches wide. So for a family of four, that's cutting it a little close. We all fit up there, but it's not as roomy as I'd like. That's one of the trade-offs for having this kind of a tent. Um, the other thing that I don't like is that the rack on top whistles in the wind, which is crazy because it's such an aerodynamic shape to the tent. The fact that it whistles in the wind kind of blows my mind because our smitty built tent was a brick it was like a lego block and it never made a peep so we might look at trying to adjust that rack or taking it off so it doesn't whistle so much but that's one thing that i don't like and then the last thing that i don't like is that you can't leave as much stuff up there so i can't actually get it to close properly i get it closed but there's it's it there's just like a little bit of a gap on one side of it so it's just kind of like cattywampus so i, I gotta figure out how to keep our, all of our stuff up there and get it closed all the way the latches and the buckles on it are not my favorite i wish they had a little bit more ability to kind of tension it down so that's one of the things that i don't like about it overall i think it's a great tent it's expensive this was about four thousand dollars so it was a massive investment for us so if that's in your price range and you're looking for something that fits the whole family that has a hard shell that's not too heavy on top this is definitely worth considering but i think I don't know, if, if you could put these on layaway, you might, because they're re really, really, really expensive. Thanks, Will, for sharing your rooftop tent with us. Can't wait to see it in person in July when we go to Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. Up next, we got Braxton. Hey guys, my name is Braxton, and my channel's called Welcome to the Outdoors, where we focus on everything related to living on the road. And my sleeping arrangement is obviously a van. So I used to live full-time out of a Jeep Cherokee, and I recently just purchased this van to live out of. The reason why I went from a Jeep to this was that I live full time on the road and just that lifestyle of overlanding and setting up a tent every day just got exhausting for me. So that's part of the reason why I went with a van. Now, even though it's not even converted yet, it's really nice because I have hard walls. I don't need to worry about rain, even though I am experiencing a bunch of leaks in here, which I'll get into a later video but it's just nice because I don't have to set up a tent. I don't have to worry about if it's windy or any of that. There's a lot of convenience of being inside of a hard sided vehicle. 
Another thing that I do like is the fact that I can be a little bit more stealth. I can be in cities and I can park the van and block the windows and I can go to sleep. Before out of the Jeep, I had a tent that I had to set up. I may be able to sleep out of the back, but it was a huge process, a huge pain. So most of the times I'm trying to find campgrounds in order to sleep. With the van, I can almost go anywhere where there's free parking and I can stay hidden. And by living full time on the road, that's a huge benefit. So I don't have to worry about leaving a city in order to go to sleep when I can just find you know, free parking somewhere and park there. What I don't like about it is that it's not converted yet. So I have to sleep on the ground. I have to make do with what's in here. It's nice how there's already storage cabinets, but it's a complete disaster in here because nothing has a home yet. I don't know where to put things yet. So with the bed being on the ground, it's taking up a lot of the ground. So during the day, I have to kind of like move it or I don't want to take it down completely because then I got to set it all back up and that kind of defeats the purpose. So it's just a complete mess. But eventually over time, of course, once I convert it, once I have a dedicated bed system in place, it's gonna be a lot easier and I'm gonna like it a lot more. I would say the one major thing with sleeping inside of a hard sided vehicle like this is just fresh air. Sure, you can get mesh screens and all of that and do what you can to get air through here, but sleeping in a tent, you're really outside, you're breathing in so much fresh air. So that's one major thing I do miss. So even though it's a complete disaster in here, I do love the fact that I can sleep inside. Final thoughts right now is I've only been living out of this for a couple weeks now and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to finish the conversion. And of course, if you want to see the conversion, the whole process, my stuff, you can go to my channel called Welcome to the Outdoors. And again, my name is Braxton. Welcome to the outdoors. Thanks Braxton for sharing your van build with us. Can't wait to see it all built up for you. And uh, yeah, up next, we got Matt Brody from Simply Must Go. Hey Gary, thank you so much for having me on your channel. My name is Matt Brody with Simply Must Go and I'm gonna talk to you today about the rooftop tent that I use specifically on my camping trailer. It is an off-grid Raptor series tent. So I wanna share a couple things that I like about it and a couple things that I don't. First thing that I like about it is it's super simple to set up. Let me show you how fast this sets up. All right, so that's it. It was a super quick setup. It took me all of two minutes to get the whole tent set up. So setup time on this, super fast and super simple. Now, one thing I don't like about the setup is the stairs. These stairs mount independently of the tent. So they don't fold up into the tent when you've got it. They actually come off. So it's one extra thing that you have to find a place to store and put together when you're doing this. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I would love if the, uh, if the stairs actually folded up into the tent and then you could put the cover over all of that. It just doesn't really work that way. And I don't feel like putting the stairs loosely on top of the tent is a good idea because I feel like that's a good way to rip the fabric. So anyway, I'd love if there was a better ladder solution for this tent, but it is what it is. Inside the tent is fairly small. It's rated as like a one to two person tent. Now, if you're with your spouse and you two are good with cuddling, then there's plenty of room. But if you're on like a, a guy's trip and you're gonna be sharing space with someone else, that's probably not the tent that you want to use. So speaking of sleeping in the tent, the tent has a really nice pad. It's fairly comfortable. That said, I did add a three inch foam pad on top of that just to make it a little bit softer. And then I put my sleeping bag directly on that. And I found that it's a very comfortable tent to sleep in and I have no issues uh, in terms of comfort in this tent. When I go up by myself, I use a queen sized sleeping bag and it fills up the inside of that tent really well. It's super cozy. The tent is actually fairly warm. And so I've had no issues staying warm inside this tent at all. The tent is really warm and it's really well sealed. The only trouble with that is because it's such a small tent that I found that it develops condensation inside the tent fairly easily. So if it's cooler out at all, 
Uh, almost every time I've woken up, there's been some condensation in the tent, even if I've had the front wide open and I'm just using sort of the, the bug nets, uh, it still gets a little bit dewy inside. And if it's really cold out and you've zipped everything up to stay warm, uh, it's almost raining on you by the time morning comes. And speaking of raining inside the tent, when it's raining outside the tent, I found that this thing is super waterproof. I have not had any issues with water coming in in heavy rains. The only issue that I've had is I've had some water collect in the awning, and then I've had to push that off in the morning. So something to uh, be aware of that you don't leave that water in there when you're taking the tent down because you'll soak everything. But uh, other than that, the tent has stayed very dry in some pretty harsh weather. One thing I really like about the tent is that it comes with these shoe holders on the outside. So as you're getting into the tent, if your shoes are wet or muddy, you can stick them right in these pockets and that helps keep them out of the tent so that the tent stays cleaner. However, the inside of the tent has absolutely no storage. It's a big drawback for me right now. I wish it had some pockets on the inside, some, some extra hooks and things to hang lights or uh, power cables or whatever. It just doesn't have any kind of interior storage. So I've had to actually rig up my own set of hooks inside of there so that I can hang lights and some other things. So I wish it had some storage on the inside, but again, it's not a deal breaker, but it's something to be aware of. One other thing I really like about this tent is that it's very light because it's small and it's compact. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. So if you're gonna put this on the roof of your Jeep or on a trailer like I did, it's not gonna add a significant amount of weight. In fact, my whole trailer, when it's empty, only weighs about 500 pounds. So it doesn't weigh a whole lot. So that's my rooftop tent, Gary. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. I really enjoyed it. And if you guys are interested in what I do, you can head over to youtube.com slash Matt Brody or search Simply Must Go. Thanks Matt for sharing your camp trailer with us. I'm actually considering getting a camp trailer as well too in the future, but for now, it's gonna be staying in my jeans. Anyways, last but not least, we got Fletch from All Things Overland. So today we're talking about sleeping arrangements. Uh, as you can see up here, this is my OVS 180 awning. Right above that is my rugged bound uh, wedge style rooftop tent. I'll show you some video and picture here on top of me talking, but I have done it all, right? I've done tent camping, I've done hammock camping, I've done tent with a cot, I've done instant up tents, I've done the bigger pole type tents, I've done a ton of different types of camping. For me, that stuff always takes up a ton of space inside the vehicle. So that was kind of my biggest constraint was when I wanted to go on these longer trips, having a whole sleeping bag, a pillow, a tent, uh, you know, a memory foam mattress, sometimes a cot, all that stuff just took up so much space that it just really didn't make a lot of sense for me for my style of overlanding. Um, so at that point, I kind of started to look into rooftop tents. I got a soft shell rooftop tent. The only thing I didn't like about that was it was really hard to get the soft shell on and off. So I decided, you know what, wedge style where I can just pop it up with some air struts and have it open up and maybe put a couple poles in it for an awning and I'm done. That's what I need. So I ended up going with this rugged bound and they have awnings and they have rooftop tents and everything. So I was super impressed with that and wanted to check this out. And I really love the tent. It's it's super well made, it's super rigid and tough. It's aluminum. Um, but again, the wedge style rooftop tent for me allows for me to get to pretty much just about anywhere with the truck and then pop that thing up and I'm ready to camp. So I love the convenience of it. I love the quickness of setup and tear down. What do I not like about it? A couple of the downsides of having a rooftop tent are that you're putting weight up high, right? So when you're in sort of an off-camber situation, when you're off-roading to try and get to some of these more remote campsites, you can definitely feel that weight up there. So it's something to consider. If you're a little feel sketched out off-road, putting more weight up top can make it even more sketchy. So that's one of the downsides. Um, the other downside is if you have to pee in the middle of the night, it's pretty inconvenient. Like you have to climb down a ladder or pee off a ladder or, or do something. You have to figure something out, but climbing down is not the most fun in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. when it's cold outside. Um, so those are kind of the downsides of it. Overall though, my thoughts on rooftop tent camping, I love a rooftop tent. I think maybe at some point I may get a teardrop. I think a teardrop camper would be an amazing option because you can leave it behind so you could base camp from it. It's super comfortable. It gets all the stuff out of the thing, out of your truck and more, like you could put a fridge in it, you could put all your cooking stuff in it, which would be really nice too. Um, but the downsides to that are then you have to drag it behind you so it makes hitting trails a lot tougher. You're not gonna be able to go to the same places with a teardrop that you can with a rooftop tent. So again, I'm rooftop tent for, at least for the foreseeable future for sure. I don't, I don't have any plans to change. I really like it because of its comfort and because of the space storage and the ease of setup and teardown. 
Um, so I hope that that was good info for you. I hope that that helps you if you're thinking of you know what kind of sleeping option you want to look into. Um, again, I'll put links to the Rugged Bound stuff down below. Great quality tents, great company, awesome customer support. Um, so I really like it. So again, I hope that's helpful. And uh, click that subscribe button, click through to my channel down below and come hang out. Love to have you. Thanks much for sharing your rooftop tent with us. I'm actually looking forward to your Ford Mavic build. So uh, keep an eye out on his channel for that. But anyways, that will do it for this video, guys. I hope it was informative. If you haven't subscribed to all five of our channels, please do so right now. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, we actually have a playlist of all the videos we're making, all these collab videos we're making right here. And just like typical BC weather, it's starting to rain, so I gotta go. Until next time, guys, like always, stay awesome.